what it is, but it is. It's me, it's me, it's Key. That's right. I'm back in the building with another video. Breaking news out of the Sixers camp. Ben Simmons is definitely going to be out indefinitely. Uh, yesterday's game against the Washington Wizards, he did suffer a knee injury. Uh, he did leave in the third quarter, I believe it was, um, with a knee injury. Uh, did not He did not want to walk put weight on that knee so it did look bad but then then Ryder came back clean um but now get breaking news that he's definitely out um he did get a uh what's it called a sub sublexia i believe of the left patella uh so something in his knee that is uh going on uh he doesn't want to take any chances you want to take precaution and get extra treatment um, so, don't know if we're going to have him back in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, well, we won't know. But this means Shake Milton is going to get more time. And also, Alec Burke is going to be coming off the bench, um, too. I mean, Alec Burke has been... Alec, Alex Burke has been balling for us. Um, but Brown don't leave him in. I mean, he will shoot back-to-back -back threes, and then he sits, and you don't see him no more. So, he gets a bigger role. He'll get more minutes. Uh, so, we'll... He's definitely going to pick up the scoring. Um, and B's been dominant for the last couple games. He's been getting about over 20, 25 to 30 points a game. Um, double digits in the rebounds. I need B to be the dominant and B that I know he can be. Um, of course, we have Tobias. Tobias has been balling. He's going. To, he's always going to get his, his numbers. The big key factor here is going to be Al Horford. Can Al Horford? How can Al Horford be that Al Horford we used to see in Boston? Can he be that Al Horford? And it seems like right now he he doesn't seem how to get acclimated with everything. Um, but this is when it comes into the coaching. Uh, that should know he should know the talent that's on his team. And I believe Brett Brown don't know the talent that he got on his team because that's the case. He wouldn't be doing half the dumb stuff that he does. And I wouldn't be having anxiety watching these games and wanting to drink after watching these games. Um, but hopefully you can we can utilize some of these role players we have. Um, get again, get Kirk Moss involved, get Matisse in, uh, Matisse involved. You know he is one of the best rookies uh, defensively um, that's on the team. Also, uh, you know Shake gonna get his minutes. He's gonna need his buckets. Josh Richardson need for him to step up. You know, again, bring the people off the bench. Another big man, Kyle O'Quinn. Um, we got Mike Scott. So we need to utilize these players. And if we utilize everybody to their potential, I see no problem with us winning games. But also, Ben, uh, he, you know, need to take the shot. They did design a play for him that worked perfectly, but he missed it. But the simple fact is he attempted the shot. And it didn't go in. I just want him to attempt more shots. You know, he is averaging 16 points a game, about eight eight assists a game, 2.1 steals. He, I believe he's one of the top five in steals um, on the season. So, yes, they're going to miss those points. They're going to miss him f facilitating the ball. He is a good passer uh, when he is in the game. So that I do give him. But we'll see what's going to happen with these Sixers uh, coming up for their next game. Um, so let's see what, what, what happens. And, Brett Brown, honestly, bro, I think this is your last tenure here in Philly um, because we we need that disciplined coach um, to get some structure. I just feel like Brett Brown don't have the structure on the team. So, Elton Brand, I need you to pull the trigger in the management up there. You know, we got to We got to We got to get a new coach. That's just me. So that is me. That is me. That's key. And I'm key. I'm always in the building. Find me around. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel. I'm on all platforms. Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Also, go follow my guys at the uh, Spotlight Sports Talk Network. Um, so, great content all around. And remember, I'm always in the building. Stay safe, guys. <laughs>